Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Saturday, the 3rd of December. Um, boy, is it chilly out there. <laughs> Cold breeze. Um, unfortunately, the Lashing Weather Station doesn't show the wind chill anymore, but I suspect the wind chill is about, about zero freezing level. Somewhere around there. It's about three degrees uh, out at the moment. Uh, ordinary temperature. So the reason for that is this cold easterly northeasterly wind as you can see that's coming from a long way across here and all across the uk and on the chart today we start to see those isobars um, <coughs> closed up from from the last couple of days hence we've not got fog uh, more sort of lower cloud solid cloud layers rather than fog lurking around uh, and, and tucked in there is is sort of they put a shower line in there there's one running down the the channel at the moment and, and a few just coming off the the north sea uh, around the wash area but nothing near us at the moment so pressure's reasonably high um but as i say close isobars reasonably fresh wind and north northeasterly direction, uh, as you can see from the TAF. So 0409 knots. Scattered at two and a half. I, I think there's a, you know, it will break up as the day goes on and we will see some bright spots, but whether it gets two and a half thousand feet is, uh, is another matter. It's anybody's guess, really. There's also tucked in there tempo broken at 1400 feet, um, showers and rain. So I think I'd, I'd go with uh, more often than not broken at 1400 feet and possibility of a, a very occasional, if we're unlucky, winter shower. Um, and remember the freezing level is probably 1500, 2000 feet. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if it, at that sort of height, it doesn't look like snow flurries rather than, than any rain. Uh, so just be aware of that. Upper winds are fairly fresh, as you saw from the isobars being packed quite close together. Uh, down across the channel, 30 knots, middle of the country, 20, 25. So we can have 25 to 30 you know, across us at flying heights of, sort of 1, 1,500 feet. So pretty fresh. Um, and from a northeasterly direction, 050, 060, somewhere around there. The sat pick doesn't really. Uh, show us very much just lots and lots of clouds streaming in across the North Sea. You might find as the day goes on, this, this opens up a little bit when we get breaks in the cloud. Top Meteo attending to show that this, this sort of clearer air comes down across us as the day goes on. And you'll see that. So, Temperature-wise, I managed to close that one. They're talking about five degrees. It's three and a half at the moment, so five to six degrees out of the wind. With the wind chill, two to three. So it's going to feel pretty uh, pretty wintry out there, folks. Wrap up warm hats, coats, thermal layers. That's the cloud prediction at 10 o'clock, I think it is. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Um, SkySight just showed a lot more cloud in there, which I think is correct at the moment um, it shows broken cloud uh, with some low bits pretty much as the um, as the farm forecast there'll be generally some cloud around sort of you know 1400 feet which would equate to about a thousand feet um, over us and break up occasionally a little bit better in places um, and cloud coming and going so uh, a chance of certainly flying today all day and then quite nice in the afternoon or late afternoon as it as it was a few days ago it, it started to open up on wednesday from about sort of 12 o'clock and it was a nice afternoon so that might be the case again today uh what have we got tomorrow yeah they're, they're forecasting more cloud tomorrow uh, unfortunately 
and they should, they're sort of showing let's run it back. Um, right here down to the south, potential low cloud over us for quite a lot of the day. Who knows? Um, could be that we're under that sort of bright bit and it's um, murky and cloudy uh, further to the north. So theme for the day, folks, uh, cold east northeasterly wind uh, and cloud layers uh, should be flyable. Uh, certainly not quite flyable out there at the moment, I would have thought, but uh, should get better. And we'll get something out of the day, just wrap up warm. OK, no TAMs and local airspace. Fairly quiet. Um, seen this one before, just tucked in there, number 15, the game shooting on ODM airfield. So not relevant to us because that's inside the airspace. Uh, nothing over here. Middle Walloper active today, gliding. They've no town winch launching. And just up here, um, there's a Royal flight either going in or out of uh, Kemble at 11 o'clock. But it would be of relevance to us. So fairly quiet in terms of uh, local airspace. Operationally, zero 09. Uh, because of the northeasterly wind, we'll have the winch on the north side of the main runway, cables being towed down the edge uh, here with the boom on the retrieve truck, launch point vehicle just to the south of the approach markers uh, with the winching gliders to the north of it and aero towing gliders just on the southern edge of the runway. Uh, no landing on the runway, it's normal circuits land north side if you circuit to the north and same to the south. Uh, more than likely most gliders will be circuiting to the north, just be aware of the turbulence behind the trees if it is a bit breezy in a northeasterly. I suspect tugs will be landing to the south. And really, that's about it. Um, we're going to stop for a proper lunch break. We, if we go out there and fly this morning, we are not um, going to carry on flying for lunch. Everybody's going to come in and warm up. That's one of those days where you need to keep warm. If you start feeling cold, it's too late, folks. You've, you've got cold. So, you know, come in, warm up um, before you go back out again, because you, people don't realise how their performance degrades uh, when they get cold. Uh, jet movements today. <laughs> <laughs> bit of antics yesterday with the 737 trying to get in um, in between the bits of low cloud. It gave up uh, and went to Bournemouth. So that will be coming in today. Uh, in theory, 1330. Hopefully they'll file the right flight plan this time because the flight plan they filed this morning was wrong. Um, so yeah, 737 inbound at about 1330. Well, I think the weather will be fine for them. And I think we're going to probably just afford to have another cup of tea and then go out and get the kit out. I'll see you out there. <laughs>